All right, I'm David Harry, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit 4K PS5 game captures within DaVinci Resolve Studio on Apple Silicon Macs. Now, for this video, I'm going to try and do it as short as I can without going into too much mumbo jumbo. However, there will have to be some technical stuff that I'll have to explain as I go through this, because as standard, you can't quite simply just copy the PS5 capture from your PS5 and put it into Resolve on your Mac and it's easy and the reason why is because Resolve is not compatible with the basic file that is produced by the PS5 when you're doing 4k so I'll explain this as I go through it and a couple of other things that we have to do in order to do this so on the desktop here I've got a folder that says PS5 and this is simply stuff that I've just copied over from a PS5 so if I go into here, go into create and then go into video clips. And this is going to give you like, you know, that structure you've got on your PS5 for your game captures. So I'm going to concentrate on this Call of Duty thing here. And I'm going to use this file here, which is basically some 4K60 game capture from Call of Duty. Now, what I need to do is to prepare this file first of all in a different piece of software than Resolve. And that software is going to be this one, which is Lossless Cut. Now, there will be a link in the video description taking you to where you can download Lossless Cut. And the reason why we have to use this program is because this will convert the content that the video file is in and the audio file into something that Resolve will actually see. So what I'm going to do is just go through this as basically as it can to do with one particular function. However, this lossless cut program is really powerful and can do a whole bunch of things. But like I say, just for the sake of this video, I just want to do one thing, which is basically just change the container for the codex. Now, when you launch lossless cut, the first thing you need to do is come up here where it says working day set, which I think means working directory set. Click in there and then tell lossless cut where it is where you want to save your files that it processes. So as we can see here, I've got a folder called lossless cut, which just happens to be there on my desktop. So that's all good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just to bring in this game capture footage into lossless cut so quite simply i'm just going to grab the footage and then just drop it straight onto it and as we can see there there is the game capture footage now right now this game capture footage is inside a container or a wrapper which is called web M. Now it's this Web M thing that Resolve doesn't understand, but with inside Web M, it has got two codecs: one for the video, one for the audio. The video codec is VP9, and the audio codec is Opus Audio. Now both of those codecs are things that Resolve will see. However, what we need to do is to change the wrapper or the container to .mp4, and then Resolve will see both of those codecs with inside an mp4 now this process that i'm about to do here does not re-encode the footage it literally just takes the video and the audio codecs and re-wraps them into a new container so we do not lose any quality whatsoever and like i said before this particular piece of software has got some really cool functions about it however for the sake of this video i'm just going to concentrate on the one simple function of changing the entire file from WebM to MP4. So what we need to do is come up here to the top right and where it says WebM here, if we click in there and then if we click on MP4 and now that's telling the software to change the WebM container to the MP4 container. Once again, it does not convert anything to do with the video or audio. The video and audio are exactly the same on the output. Then what we do, we come down to here on the bottom right where it says export, click on there. Now I've already obviously selected where my files are gonna go to, which is lossless cut. Now there's a name there that says COD. This was actually something that I'd used earlier on for something, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Now what you need to do here is to just type in here and 
give your file a meaningful name when it does the export. There are other functions within the software to do with naming structures and stuff like that. But like I've said, I want to try and keep this as simple as possible. Okay, so that's already there. Then what we do, we just click on export here. So let me just tap on export. And as we will see here, this is mega fast. Now this is 12 minutes worth of gameplay, but because, it, there we go, it's done. But because we're not actually converting like any kind of codecs from one codec to another, we are literally just copying the codex into another container. That's the reason why it is so fast. Okay, so that's all good. So I'm just gonna exit these things here. Now what I'm going to do is just to launch DaVinci Resolve Studio. Okay, let me just, in fact, I'll go through all this in real time just so you can see exactly what's going on here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna give a new project here. Let me call this COD PS5 Test. Okay, so let me just create that. Okie dokie. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the edit page here. I, I normally work in the edit page. I'm no good on the cut page. And then what I'm gonna do is import the file. So if I go to import media here, and then I'll go to the desktop. I'll go to the folder here that says lossless cut, which is where I save stuff to. Tap on COD, click open. Now Resolve is going to ask us that we want to change the frame rate. So I'm gonna say yes, change the frame rate. However, the other thing I'm going to do is to click on settings here. I'm then going to come to the timeline resolution and I'm gonna match that to 4K Ultra HD because that is exactly what the recordings were done in. So let me just tap on there. Let me click save. Now things like the frame rate and such are gonna be all set up when we do it this way and just import the file and let the file dictate the project in such a way that I've just done. There are other concerns here to do with say HDR and SDR and stuff. However, this is standard SDR footage, but the whole thing still works in HDR as well, which is really cool. Okay, now if I then drag this to the timeline, as we can see here, uh, Resolve has got absolutely no problems playing it. Okay, and I can scroll through and do all kinds of cranky stuff with this. However, at this point, the file isn't actually quite right. And the reason why is because when Lossless Cut does this transfer, unfortunately, it doesn't get the actual video levels correct. So right now, what's happening is Resolve is interpreting this footage as RGB or basically full video levels. And the actual colors or the brightness and stuff is not actually correct. So what I need to do first of all, before we go any further is Click on the file in the bin here, then right click that. We'll go to clip attributes. Let me just move this to one side. And then we need to change this to video where it says data levels. So I'm gonna change that to video. Now watch when I click okay, we will see the picture kind of go a bit darker or a bit blacker and stuff. So watch this, so click okay. And there we go, so the pitch is now correct. Like I say, this is not a problem with Resolve. Unfortunately, what it is lossless cut, actually when it does the actual movement of the codex and stuff, it unfortunately flags it wrong and it flags it as full as opposed to limited. But right now, this is all exactly right. So from this point here, you can go through and do whatever you want to this and do all the editing that you want to do and all the rest of it. Okay, so just to summarize then, this particular process works perfectly with DaVinci Resolve Studio on Apple Silicon Macs. However, this may also work for other NLEs on other platforms, and it quite possibly might work as well with Resolve on, say, Windows or Linux and stuff. You can most certainly give this a try. It's literally gonna take you like five minutes to test this to see if it works with other things on like Windows, Linux, and different types of editing systems and stuff like that. Anyways, if you've liked the video, a thumbs up would be great. A sub to the channel would be amazingly awesome, and there will be links in the video description below to some of the software and what not used in the video. I'm David Harry, thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.